So hello and welcome back to our Not So Berry Challenge where we are in, I think it's now week five, maybe, of the, the Grim Reapers Special Rewards event, which hopefully will see us able to bring back Riker, Rosemary's high school sweetheart and one true love from the dead. It's also a week where hopefully Mr. Saffron, no Saffron, no trolling the forums. Why don't you maybe just watch a little bit of TV, you know, where hopefully he can have enough fun and maybe even meet a little someone special. We did make it to six of last week, and I am thinking that, uh, you know, maybe we'll head that way again. Maybe he can meet someone special there. I would say that his someone special could end up being the Grim Reaper, but in one of my other Let's Plays, my 100 Baby Challenge Let's Play, that's not going so well for my 100 Baby Challenge Matriarch Lilith. He, he definitely is up for flirting with her, but he is not up for making any babies with her, so I'm not sure if he is quite romanceable yet. The Sims does have a big new expansion coming that I will probably get once it's done breaking the game. Um, <laughs> I never buy new expansions when they very first drop, no matter how good they look, and Life and Death does look pretty good, just because I like all of the bugs to be shaken out of them first. All right, Riker, please stop haunting Lindsay. That's, that's a terrible thing to do to her. In fact, why don't you go and take a shower? I don't know how a, a ghost can be dirty, but you are. And Rosemary is awake, and she's angry. Ugh, why are you so angry, Rosemary? Calm down. Why don't you just take an angry poop, get it out of your system, it'll be fine. Now, for our Grim Reaper Rewards event, we do need to cook a gourmet recipe while level 4 or higher. So, you know what, Rosemary? You're not very hungry, but that's okay. We're going to make a gourmet breakfast. We're going to go by skill. Oh, she is getting up there. None of that really looks like uh, breakfast food, but you know what? Go ahead and make yourself a Monte Cristo sandwich for breakfast. I'm betting that'll be great. Saffron, you have five of your six skills that you have achieved level eight in. What is a good skill that you can work on before work? Speaking of work, he's got, he's got today off, so it seems like a good day to work on skills. Uh... It looks like he could go with either charisma or cooking. You know what? Oh, and Riker has discovered he likes fitness. You know, that's fine. All right, Saffron, why don't you come over here and practice some speech in the mirror and work on your charisma skill. And Riker, you are feeling energized and awesome and I think it's time for you to come weed these plants. Oh my gosh, they look terrible. All right, we are going to harvest everything and then we are going to do all of the weeding and probably see, do we need to water anything here? Oh, ah, the death flower is my very favorite. Oh, well, I mean, yes, we do have quite a few death flowers now. I am quite impressed with them, and we've earned a, a reward. Let's see what we have earned. You know, we're getting right along there. Oh, we got a haunted painting. That is very cool. All right, let's totally claim those. We got an inspired potion, and we do seem to have gotten a... a painting. So let's take a look at that painting. I want to see it. We'll put it up on the wall somewhere. No, nope, we will not do that. All right, let's see. I think it would be in decorations. All right, paintings. 
Uh, let's just filter by event rewards. Ooh, it is the portrait of Lady Mimsy. Well, where can we put this portrait? We have to find a good place of honor for Lady Mimsy to hang. You know what? We will put this space print above Saffron's room. And... Ooh, that is a very big portrait. We are definitely going to have to resize that down a little bit. And just put Lady Mimsy on the wall right there. A little bit expensive, but totally worth it. I wonder if it does anything special. Nah, it doesn't really look like it does. Isn't she pretty, though? Up oh, and... Grimm says, maybe after all this research is done, we can catch a movie or something? Okay. I mean... Whatever you say, Grim, you flirty, flirty death thing who I can't make babies with anyway. All right, Rosemary, uh, yes, you do have to go to work, so we will totally go to work. She's like, I would like to just do some painting. And we got another reward. What else did we get? All right, well, it looks like, what did we get? Oh, we got another book. What book did we get? I want to see it. It does not say what it was. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. You know, I'm going to have to look up online and see what exactly it is. But we have now completed all of our Grim Reaper events for the week. This was a kind of disappointing week. But that's okay. That is life. All right. Saffron, how are you doing with your your uh, charisma? You're actually doing pretty good. I am very impressed. All right. You know what? You are feeling a bit peckish, though. So why don't you go eat that Monte Cristo sandwich that your mother made? And, you know, when mom heads off to work, maybe we'll go to sick some. Riker, in the meantime, he is over here just vacuuming up all of this stuff. He's like, look at me. I've got it all. All right, Riker, why don't you stop possessing everything, you absolute weirdo. We are going to fertilize our death flower with a pomegranate. We are going to, we can't fertilize that one, but we do need to make sure that we fertilize all of our good stuff. And you know what? We can probably fertilize our pomegranates. I will fertilize that one with a lily and just do a few of those other little things. All right, Saffron is enjoying his sandwich. Rosemary is off to work. And you know what, Saffron? Once you get that taken care of, we are going to make sure that all of your needs are high. So we're going to use the restroom. And then, you know what? Let's take Saffron out on the town, head out to Sixum, see if maybe there's anybody interesting out there. Riker can just continue floating around the house and doing whatever he really wants, you know? But Saffron, now that you have done that, let's uh, travel through the wormhole yet again. I don't know if this is actually anything that he needs to do for any of his skill choices or even for his job, but I feel like he's, he's had enough stories of space from his grandmother and maybe even from his uncle. I mean, I feel like they weren't really close. Maybe we'll need to get them all together. But he's had enough stories of space that I, I feel like it's truly his, his dream to maybe meet a, a certain alien, fall in love. It's definitely exotic. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know, should we maybe look for an alien? as as our potential life partner i feel like it fits him all right beam me down i was gonna say scotty 
but maybe not. Beam me down, we should name our ship TARDIS. <laughs> so, fun fact, which I'm sure you probably know, evidently Beam Me Up Scotty was never a thing that was actually said in Star Trek. Which, I think it's just the Mandela effect that we all think that Mr. Spock said, beam me up, Scotty. Or that Captain Kirk said that. But it was never actually said, which is trippy. There is nobody here. Let's collect some things. No, that has already been collected. I do love these plants. They are very cool. Is there anything? Oh, we can't harvest the tentacle tree. I am very sad about that. What about that? Nope, that one's already been collected. We can collect from this. Ooh, we found an alien? Oh, that's very cool. Is it an alien we can be friends with? Speaking of friends, are there any aliens anywhere? Ooh, hey, I found aliens. Saffron? I, I have found aliens. They, they don't look exactly thrilled to be here, but we have definitely found some aliens. Also, Sixum is way bigger than I thought it was. I'm kind of impressed. Ooh, lots of aliens. Let's pause really quick and take a look around here. We've got Aiden Nico, Dusty Meek. We have Scott Proctor, who we met already, and Enzo York. I feel like all of the aliens are male. That's bizarre. We've got Goopy Neighbor. I'm not sure I like Goopy Neighbor. He's a little odd. Mm, that looks like about it. No cute female aliens, but that's all right. All right, where are you at, Saffron? There you are. You have collected yet another thing. Why don't we go over here and uh, let's meet Dusty Meek. Let's do a nice polite conversation here. Ah, Riker has a close-knit lifestyle. I have no idea how any of that works, but whatever. Why don't you work on building your writing skill, Riker? I would like you to do something useful while we are gone. And we're going to work on charisma. Sul, sul. Oh, sul, sul. Oh, oh. All right, I thought he was angry there for a minute. Why don't we do a little bit of friendliness? Let's discuss our interests a little bit. Be like, hello, Dusty. Maybe have a, a deep conversation. Find out all about him. Oh, we're having a very pleasant conversation about uh, Squid, evidently. All right. Well, you know, let's do, let's find out his hobbies. Let's brag about our handiness. Uh, <laughs> you know, maybe... <laughs> oh, I don't think he liked that at all. But that's okay. Let's find <laughs> out uh, a little bit more about his interests here. And we're going to take a look in the profile and see all we can about Dusty. We have great compatibility. All right, let's open up his profile. Dusty is a good friend with amazing compatibility. He also graduated from high school. That's really all we know about him, but we can find out a little bit more, hopefully by just, you know, figuring things out. Also, Lindsay, our speaker, is pretty, pretty much a friend. Ah, yeah. All right, have we found out any of his interests yet? All right. Ooh, ooh, he didn't like... Oh, we like being funny. All right, well, let's be funny then. You know, let's do a knock-knock joke. Oh, oh, he likes that. And hey, we're comedy level three. Good job, Saffron. Look at you go. All right, maybe we'll do a little bit more friendly. Maybe we'll give him a compliment. Let's compliment his outfit. That is an awesome looking spacesuit you are wearing oh he's paranoid interesting uh and he also seems to be leaving all right bye dusty you know whatever let's collect that 
interesting looking space amethyst. And then we'll go over here. Who is this? Enzo York. I, I feel like Dusty just left. He was just like, you know what? No, enough of that. We're going to collect a few more of these. Oh, that one has already been collected. Ooh, some more space rocks. We're going to dig up these space rocks and then we'll probably head home doesn't look like we have any potential partners here except possibly dusty you know we'll have to what does um we have amazing compatibility we do know that he's un he definitely has a few unknown traits and he is paranoid which probably wouldn't make him a good life partner great friend though I'm starting to think that Saffron just manages to find all the paranoid people. Oh, this guy's just bouncily walking along. That's Goopy Neighbor. I almost want, want to know what his humanoid form looks like. If he looks goopy or not. What a name. Goopy Neighbor. So yeah, we're going to do that, and then we're going to head home and maybe work on our charisma a little more. I think when, when Saffron heads to work next, maybe we will socialize with our neighbors a little bit. We could bring Brinely Power home, although she is so much older than us. Or Mira Arnod. I don't know who she is but you know what we'll bring her home with us she must be here somewhere and i'm just not seeing her is that her oh this is juanita benton oh now all the women show up you know whatever maybe maybe the friend that we are bringing home will be a potential match we'll find out all right, and we are home with uh, Myra. Myra is not wearing pants. I'm going to give her a real quick makeover. I took all my custom content out, and she was probably wearing some. Give me just one minute. All right, I didn't give Myra a full makeover, but I at least gave her pants. So that will help at least a little bit. All right, we're going to pull down the walls so we can actually see what's going on. And Saffron, why don't you chat with this lady? You know, maybe talk about the sunny weather a little bit. Work on that charisma. See what she thinks of you. See what you think of her. And Riker, you were supposed to be working on your writing, but since you weren't, you can go ahead and grab the mail and then maybe grab yourself something to eat. It looks like all the plants are doing good, so that is good. You can go ahead and grab some leftovers as we go back to Saffron and he is chatting with his friend here. You know, we'll be a little bit friendly. We'll do a little small talk. We're going to brighten her day a little bit. She is very angry. Why are you angry? Oh, it's Uncle Rory calling to chat with Mom. Heck yeah, we will talk with Rory. All right, why are you so angry here, Myra? You know, try to calm her down a little bit, Saffron. You can do it. I have faith in you. We're also watching Roaring Vice, so maybe she's just angry about the, the show. She's like, we're watching the movie here. Excuse me. Oh, she's, she's very focused. Okay, well, all right. She's also hot-headed, just like his mother. All right, well, you know... It is what it is. He also doesn't like her. Okay. Well, you know what? We cannot get much more, much more of a, a definite sign than that. You know what, Saffron? Let's just summon the Grim Reaper. We might not be able to, like, have him around, but... That's okay. Oh, and Uncle Rupert says, I heard you became friends with Dusty Meek. He's pretty cool. All right, where is Grim? We have summoned him. There he is. It is our buddy Grim. All right, Grim, what is up? Let's, um, 
Let's give Grim residence keys. You know, come on over anytime you want, Grim. We totally enjoy you. And Rosemary has finished her task. And you know what? I feel like she, she would research art, which gave her a medium performance boost. That's pretty cool. All right. Saffron's like, hey, Grim, what is up, my buddy? Ooh, Rosemary got 3,080 simoleons. All right. Yeah. Hey, what is up, Grim? You know, let's, um, did, did you take those residence keys? I think you did. Grim, if you knock over the trash can, I'm going to be so mad at you. It's like anytime you want, just come on over. You know, maybe we can become besties. You know, find out all about, um, find out about Grim's decor taste. And Rosemary, my love, you who are hungry, let's not eat eggs, Benedict. Let's make another another gourmet meal. Let's make, again, going with skill. You know what? I guess we're going to make some more Monte Cristo sandwiches for the entire group. Heck yes. Oh, Riker is getting a phone call from his brother, Tine. All right, well, you know what? Definitely chat. Uh, the Grim Reaper does not like vintage decor. Well, that's, that is absolutely good to know. All right, Saffron, you know what? I think that you and Grim should absolutely play a game of chess. Oh, you can't play a game of chess with the Grim Reaper. Well, that's not fair. You know, we'll compliment his outfit. Ask him to hang out, and then maybe we can play chess with him. Sorry, uh, Myra, but you are, are just not my type. Maybe his type is the Grim. Alright, can we play chess with Grim now? That would be so cool. No, we can't. Alright, fine. You know what? Let's just, um... Ah, well. Whatever. You know what? Do a yoga routine. Get your energy centered. And mom will be done with these eggs benedict, which will be delicious. Riker, you aren't actually hungry, but you could come over here and polish that up a little bit. Oh, Grim is loving the TV show. Well, you go, Grim. Grim's like, I never get a chance to just hang out and watch TV. This is great. I love this family. I will not reap any of their souls. You know what, Riker? Maybe you can come over here and... No, not do a ghost stick here. Although that does sound funny. Well, let's, let's have a deep conversation. We can talk about death with the Grim Reaper. Especially since you are very playful, which is bordering on hysterical, which is never a good thing. Alright, we're going to put these Monte Cristo sandwiches away. Oh, hey, Goopy's like, I heard you became good friends with Dusty. He's pretty cool. Rosemary is, oh, she is really dirty. Okay, that's probably a good thing to go and take a shower. All right, she is feeling better. Let's make another gourmet meal. We have got to keep working on that skill. Have we leveled up at all? Let's take a look at that. Nope, we still haven't. All right, well, you know what? We're going to make a single meatless Monte Cristo. All right, bye, Myra. I don't think Saffron even noticed that you left, which is kind of sad. All right, Saffron, how is that yoga routine going? You are leveling up like a champ. I am very proud of you. How is your job going? He should be able to get a, a promotion here soon. And he's level six of the wellness skill. I think he's doing better at wellness than he is at uh, charisma, which is kind of funny. All right, Rosemary, how are your gourmet cooking skills going? 
because we need oh she is so close we're gonna we're gonna push through with our flirty rosemary i don't know who she's flirting with she might be getting excited by death interesting although she is thinking about Riker. she does want to talk over her relationship fears with him i think she thinks that maybe it won't work out since he's like dead and all but you know i also feel like she, she can do it all right and we are now level nine that is awesome all right go use your son's toilet and then we are going to practice a little bit of magic before probably heading to bed here soon because we do need to level that up so let's go over here and you know what uh, no, Saffron, you are not going to be paranoid. Excuse me, I don't think so. What is your major malfunction, Saffron? Why are you freaked out? Really? You're, you're, oh, okay. His father screamed at him. That's enough to make anybody paranoid. All right, you know what, Riker, that was a little bit rude. Why don't you come over here and work on a book? You know, let's um, not write jokes. Let's just do some regular writing. There we go. Let's write another children's book. I feel like he's going to become a children's author just because he can. And then Rosemary is going to summon her familiar and practice her magic a little bit after she's done playing with clay. What is the title of your book, Riker? I don't want to click off of you yet. Good night, nightlight. That sounds wonderful. All right, Rosemary, I need you to summon your familiar. We are totally going to summon our familiar just so that we don't accidentally become a ghost ourselves. All right. And Saffron, I need you. Oh, yes. I need you to come over here and maybe do another. Do a mind concentrating yoga routine. Rosemary, I need you over here doing some experimenting on your cauldron. You know, with Anne Keldar's help, we should be able to get that done just fine. And with that, we are going to let these guys finish doing what they're doing, and we will see them in the morning. All right, it is the next morning, and Saffron woke up about to bust. That's never a good sign. And Riker managed to break our computer while he was trying to write his children's book last night. So before work this morning, Saffron has some chores to do. He's got work in three hours, which should be enough time to do a Insta repair on our computer. And you know what? Maybe we'll do a little bit of, of absolutely centering, like get nice and focused before work, do another yoga routine. I feel like that is a good idea for our Saffron, especially since he's not really hungry and his sleep is mostly good. Actually, it is three o'clock in the morning. Saffron, why are you awake at three o'clock in the morning? You know what, maybe instead of yoga, we will take a little nap before work. And then, then if there's time, we will do a, a nice little power yoga session. You know, just to get in the right frame of mind before work. Riker is awake and he thinks he's starving to death. All right, Riker, why don't you get leftovers? And how are you so dirty again? We will also maybe take a nice brisk shower. Saffron. Yes, you are already focused. Let's get even more focused. Let's practice a little bit of yoga. He's like, but I was dancing. Now, we are working on those skills. And I think today, at least for the first half of his, his time at work, he can maybe, maybe see if he can make friends. 
You know, I know he's a loner. I know he's a little bit socially awkward, but maybe he can make a few friends at work, and that would be a really good thing for him. All right, Riker is going to go and take his shower, and then hopefully our plants will be doing good. We should go through his inventory here. I think we can probably sell some of these fish that have probably gone. Yeah, they are all foul at this point. Can you imagine, like, in real life meeting somebody that's just walking around with a bunch of fish in their backpack? That would be so random. We're going to open the fan mail, which is actually for Saffron, but shh, I won't tell if you won't. And we're just going to sell some of this stuff. Just kind of clean out this inventory like, oh my goodness, all of that sage is a little bit nice, a little bit crazy here. We'll sell the, the less expensive things. Yes, I want to sell all of those. Ah, we'll sell the chrysanthemums for now. I can't sell the chrysanthemums. We are not selling the death flowers, though. That is for certain. We're going to keep those begonias. We're going to give the apples to Rosemary for her potion making. You know what? We can give her the cherries, too. And, oh, that is gross. That is a carrot cupcake that is spoiled and a spoiled vanilla cupcake. That is kind of disgusting. I don't know why people are sending saffron spoiled food. I feel like it's very, very rude. All right, Rosemary, you have the next couple of days off, so you are going to work on your cooking. So, no, not cooking. I was wrong. Stop. All right, let's try the gourmet cooking this time. There we go. We are going to cook some delicious, ooh, trout minaire. Yeah, we'll have trout for breakfast. What the heck? It feels like something that Rosemary would do just because she can. All right, Saffron, you have work in a minute. Stop, stop, there we go. Oh, and it's the lottery. You know, that, that could be a very good thing. All right, Saffron, head out to work, please. And off he goes. Once he is off, we're, gonna, we're just going to have him make some connections for a little while. You know, socialize with your co-workers just a little bit. We'll keep an eye on that performance uh -huh. meter. Mm -hmm. Riker, I know that you are having so much fun, but it is definitely time to harvest all of these. Make sure that we harvest everything over that way. And then does anything... Ooh, these look dry. We definitely need to water everything. Gotta keep our plants looking good. And you know what? Riker likes being outside. It is one of the things he really enjoys. All right, Rosemary. We are working on gourmet cooking, hopefully. Yeah, she probably is going to eat. Nope, she... Okay, she is. She is definitely going to have a little bit of trout for breakfast. And we are going to keep an eye on your gourmet cooking skills. <laughs> And see about maybe... Oh, she is halfway. All right, if we can get her to level 10, we will be able to bring Riker back in this episode. And that is now my goal. Because we have all of the ingredients and I think we can do it. All right, Rosemary, once you are done doing that, let's get over here and cook another gourmet meal. You know always go with the skill we are going to do another single serving of trout and we're going to be cooking trout all day long i i feel like she's going to be quite the expert at trout cooking come and check out thrifty no i'm good hey saffron has met christopher well at work all right that is awesome saffron how is your performance meter going on that uh, he's actually doing pretty good still, so we're going to switch over here and go back to working hard and hopefully get that check mark on him. All right. Rosemary, on the other hand, is working on that gourmet cooking skill. Hopefully we can get that all the way up. She's feeling very inspired. She still doesn't like the decor here, but you know what? She she and Riker, once, once we get this done, 
they will have a wonderful life after they get married, living back in Willow Creek in her old house, as long as no one else has bought it. We'll have to wait and see. If anyone else is, is living there, well then, we'll just build her a new house. I feel like that, that could also work. All right, Rosemary, let's make some more trout. Let's keep on keeping on. We are so close. We'll just put that in the refrigerator there. And you can make some more trout. Riker is... Looks like everything is good. All right. Riker's like, I am going to go have a chat with my wife. Well, not my wife yet, but soon enough. He's like, oh, are you making that for me, Rosemary? I'm going to chat. Ooh. Oh, well, Tine is now with uh, Karina Greenberg. Congratulations. That is pretty awesome. Ooh, you know what? You, sir, need to enter the lottery. We are totally buying a lottery ticket. And then, Rosemary, once you hit level 10 of gourmet cooking i'll let you buy a lottery ticket maybe you will be just like your father and actually win that would be really cool all right Riker, you know what i need you to do uh just go here and then you can eat this delicious trout that your soon-to-be wife oh she has hit gourmet cooking level 10 that is awesome all right you can go eat that trout and rosemary I need you to come over here and cook one more gourmet meal. It is a very special gourmet meal. Wait, what are we missing? Ah, death flower. All right. Riker, oh Riker, we need you to give Rosemary a death flower. Rosemary, there you go. Let's make this ambrosia. Oh, wait, wrong sim. Rosemary. We need you to cook some ambrosia. This is very important. We, we are not waiting for the Reaper reward. We are bringing Riker back. This is very important. Huh, who would have thought that ambrosia is cooked with, I think that's supposed to be lettuce, a tomato, and then it turns into a solid white lump. Interesting. Oh, Riker's feeling pretty good. He is definitely liking this. I think he knows that this is the ambrosia just for him. All right, Rosemary, put that ambrosia right there. Look at that. Riker, I need you to eat the ambrosia. Let's not make it into a horse brosia treat. That would be really weird. All right, Riker. Let's keep an eye on this. Oh, I never realized that it had such pretty rainbow design. I love it. All right. How are you feeling, Riker? Are you feeling younger? Are you feeling are you feeling not all that ghost-like? He's like, "Um nom 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 nom." Oh, and we've got our royalties. That is always good. Rosemary is over here to hopefully witness history being made. Bring a shalbo. All oh, right. Bonnie. Riker. Ooh. Oh. He's back. Yes. Oh my goodness. He's like, I am me again. All right. I think to celebrate, let's brighten Rosemary's day. And you know what? Let's go woohoo in the rocket ship. I feel like this is very successful. And we have some death flowers just in case we need to do this again. We're going to take another look really quick at the calendar and see when is Rosemary. There's Riker's birthday. Rosemary. Ah, Rosemary's birthday should be pretty soon. 
Rosemary, how many days do you have until you age up? Rosemary, I know it's here somewhere. Oh, yeah, she's got four days before aging up. So we did this just in time. Awesome. I think that is where we are going to leave it with Rosemary and Riker celebrating their love. And we'll be able to start planning a wedding soon. So thank you so much. Um, I think next week we will continue working on the Grim Reaper rewards thing just because I do want to make sure that I get all those rewards. But until next time, hit the thumbs up on your way out. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week.